And good news for ice cream lovers, Bluebell is back. The ice cream arrived on the shelves yesterday morning after about four months of no sales and Listeria scare that forced a recall. Now over at Piggly Wiggly on 21, Judy Duke, the assistant manager, said the customers were lined up when the store opened at 7 a.m. to grab their Bluebell. Uh, the store had homemade vanilla, uh, Dutch chocolate, the Great Divide, and cookies and cream. Those, by the way, the, were the four flavors that were announced last week. The company called the four flavors its starting lineup. And over at Walmart, Keith Mock, the manager there, said that Bluebell sales had been great. Said people were waiting for the ice cream to be put back on in the freezer on Monday. Now, Bluebell resumed selling the four flavors at locations in Alabama on Monday, four months after the Texas-based retailer halted sales due to a listeria contamination at its plants. The contamination prompted health concerns that drew the regulatory scrutiny of uh, federal and state officials. Now, the Bluebell plant in Sylacauga began producing uh, ice cream in mid-July, and uh, Bluebell returned to the stores in uh, uh, several counties yesterday, including Talladega, St. Clair, Shelby, Clay, and Randolph in Jefferson counties. Uh, the company will resume sales in other areas of the country in phases. Now, the Silicaga Bluebell plant is the only one operating and producing ice cream at this time. Two other plants in Brenham, Texas, and uh, in uh, two plants in Brenham, Texas, and one in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma continue to be closed as they continue to clean up and uh, the cleaning and training uh, uh, at those three plants. Now, according to a story from Brenham, the home base of Bluebell, officials with the U.S. Department of Commer uh, Commerce uh, were in Brenham yesterday and announced a nearly $1.4 million grant to build a workforce and technical training center. In July, the company received a cash infusion from Texas billionaire Sid Bass. According to Bluebell, Bass became a private investor in Bluebell Creameries after the privately head company was unable to raise enough capital from existing shareholders. And here in Sylacauga, the uh, Bluebell Country Store and Ice Cream Parlor, a parlor on Norton Avenue, the Sylacauga Bluebell plant remained closed today. A Talladega man has been arrested in connection with at least two burglaries earlier this summer. Montarius Green, age 22, was arrested by Talladega police late last week. Bond said at $10,000 per case. According to uh, Talladega Police Chief Jason Busby, Green has been charged with breaking into a home on Chenobee Road on June 29th and Bryan Street on June the 30th. According to reports filed uh, at the time, items stolen from the Chenobee uh, road location included a bottle of prescription medication, a 19-inch flat-screen TV, a Dell computer, and jewelry. Uh, according to information at the Talladega County Metro Jail, Green may have also been charged with a third burglar in the city as well, uh, one in the county, although information on these cases were not uh, yet clear yesterday. Jail records also show that Green had a failure to appear warrant from Munford and a misdemeanor charge from the county as well. A preliminary hearing has been set for the man accused of assaulting Talladega Mayor Larry Barton, according to published reports on AL.com. According to uh, the source, the, uh, uh, the newspaper, the hearing for Benny Jack Green, age 71, will be October 15th. The hearing date was set by Jefferson County District Court Judge Shelby Watkins yesterday. Green was charged with first-degree assault after allegedly attacking Barton outside a barber shop where he cuts hair on August the 8th. Barton was admitted to UAB Hospital due to his injuries. A baseball bat was reported to have been the weapon used in the attack, but an affidavit in the case said it was, quote, a tire thumper. Green is in the process of divorcing his wife. And Green's former divorce attorney claimed the attack was motivated by an alleged sex tape featuring Barton, who's 75, and Green's wife. Court records uh, and documents obtained by the local Daily Home newspaper detail three tapes that allegedly show Green's wife having sex with someone other than her husband. Barton had denied and has denied any wrongdoing between himself and Green's wife. He lost his bid for re-election last week and will leave office on November the 2nd. A Vincent woman 
was injured in a two-vehicle accident at the 275 bypass yesterday morning. And according to Talladega Police, Monica Cruz, age 46, was driving a Ford Focus on Plant Road when she apparently answered a cell phone call. She failed to stop at the stop sign and was struck by an 18-wheeler on the bypass. The truck driver was not injured. Uh, Cruz was transported to Regional Medical Center in Anniston for treatment of her injuries. And less than a half mile from its destination yesterday afternoon, the Avondale Trucking Terminal, a tractor rig, was destroyed by fire just before 3 p.m. yesterday. Uh, no one was injured, but uh, it was quite a, uh, a scene and a mess to clean up. The driver, who asked not to be identified, said he was within sight of the terminal as he traveled north on Norton Avenue uh, when he noticed smoke coming from the dash area. As he bailed from the cab of the rig, he said it burst into flames, creating a blast that could be heard across from Sylacauga High School as parents were gathering to pick up students after school. Sylacauga Fire Department quick on the scene and extinguished the blaze, but uh, since it required more time to clear the area of debris and spill fuel, uh, the Sylacauga Police Department uh, closed Norton from tent to commerce uh, until the cleanup was complete. Again, no injuries in that fire yesterday. 